all just too much fun. Oh, I should probably look mean to this one when I take my hand this off. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, it's craziness. I'm so excited. I'm like fangirling. <laughs> um, no, yeah, it's crazy. It's so unreal. I'm 25 now. I'm, my first Muay Thai fight was when I was 18, so ever since then I knew this was what I wanted to do, so yeah, long time. <laughs> I mean, I've been competitive in sports my whole life. I've played softball, I've played soccer, I've done rugby, I've done volleyball, so I, and track. I've done a lot of sports, and I'm a very competitive person. So this is like the most you can do. Like, you're one-on-one -on -one against somebody in a cage. Like, it's on you. There's no excuses, you know? Like, you can't blame anybody else but yourself. So that's what I like. <laughs> you break my hands like... <laughs> <laughs> Last year I had a really bad experience by coming back and she was sick and we had a tumor removed. So this time it was like safety to have her with me and I know she's okay and she's a really good snuggler at night. So for the next couple nights I get a little cuddle buddy. She's loving it too. She's getting off, she's getting petted. Everybody's telling her how cute she is, so. Come on, come here, come here, come here. Sit, no, look, <laughs> I didn't get the outcome I wanted. Friday of the night was cool. It was a great experience, but uh, I'm, I, I'm more like, I gotta show them. Like this time I wanna finish. I wanna really like let them know why they signed me. Some people getting in the cage is a really stressful environment and I've been in way stressful environments. I enjoy it. I enjoy the pressure. I, I enjoy that, that tension and uh, not knowing what's gonna happen. That's, I'm trained to handle those things. So uh, this is this is just fun for me. <laughs> what it is about Dragon Ball Z? I watched it as a kid, and I it influenced me so much to the point that I think that's why I started studying martial arts as a kid. And you know, it was a combination of that and my brother just being six and a half years older than me and beating me up. But um, I always. I always loved it. I always loved Goku's personality and w wanting to be the best fighter that he could be. And I just really, it really resonates with me. <laughs> yeah, I might do a Kamehameha pose after the win. That would be pretty cool. No one can save you! Come on, girl, you gotta done. do something down there. You're done! You're done. Jump, jump, jump. Uh, yeah, I just visualized it so much. I was actually in that where I visualized myself. I was just like, just let it go, you know? Live in the moment kind of thing. It was cool. I think John Jones commented on it, so that was cool, you know? No, I think that's the fighter that I always seen myself, and I was able to just uh, execute my performance and put on the show and be the fighter that I actually am. So I was really excited to go out there and be who I am. Não é segredo para ninguém que eu busco nocaute né, nas minhas lutas. Eu já venho de, de duas lutas com o prêmio de melhor luta da noite e agora para mim, para consolidar isso, seria um nocaute. Com certeza o melhor nocaute da noite. This is a this is a dream of my life. I I dream with this uh, all my life. Inexplicável, sentimento inexplicável. Eu já sinto como se ele fosse meu.